Well, cheers, legends. Hope you're all enjoying the first few sunny days we've had in a while. Isn't that a relief? I know I certainly am. Well, guys, just for this video today, me and Tristan, we've been catching up a lot more for some hunts and fishes, and that's just, it's good. We've needed that, we needed that for so long since after all those lockdown years and all that crap. Um, it's been a great time. And on the back of a, a wet summer, one thing we have had is just the excellent trout fishing. Sorry, I know not everyone's totally into the trout fishing, but you'll see a few goats get wailed in this one too. Anyway, the good times have been natural for me and Tristan anyway. Other thing I want to chuck out there is very best of luck for everyone who's prepping now and getting ready for the rut. We've still got a few weeks off, I reckon anyway. But if you're putting the groundwork in now, that's what I just did this weekend. I'll see that in the next video for some tremendous results. And I'm very, very excited. I hope you are too. Anyway, best of luck everyone. Hunt hard and keep it natural. I'm just getting set up now. I'm going to just operate real quietly. It's quite a hot day. Tristan's down this ridge line, although I can't be 100% sure about where he is until he texts me. That's weird. So yeah, I think they will slowly move to the way downhill, but when they get into that little gut that you're looking at there, they'll start feeding in there. And they'll just browse, which it could be quite a long time for them to move from there to wherever else they're going because it's comfortable, it's nice. Yeah. I didn't see them like move through the trees. They could have just shuffled into more shade. had to go home. I'm going to just put a bit of extra time in, be at least here for the Arvo and if there's anything promising that I see on top of what we've already seen, I might stay again for the morning. Fresh start, as good as that's helping wake me up. I'm not wearing a single lick of warm clothing. And I bet by the time I'm in this glassing position, I'll already be pretty warm. So it's gonna be another hot one today, almost up to 30 degrees. Anyway, into it.
I'm gonna put eyes on the goats and then I'm gonna make the decision. Don't jam on me now, Mr. Rinder. Just dropped another one up there, I don't know if it caught myself. I never did end up shooting at those billies uphill. Two nannies, one older and one much younger. Zero complaints though. There'll be some excellent, excellent meals and all of that. Heart shot for her and heart lung for this one. Oh, yeah. I kind of get some particular exhilaration out of shooting younger animals, but in terms of, you know, by shooting a billy in that situation, personally for myself, I wouldn't have achieved much. I mean, I, I find the meat tastes stronger. It doesn't mean it can't be used for, you know, spicy meals or, you know, if you're feeding them to dogs and things like that. Um, but it also doesn't have any longer impact on keeping those herd numbers lower. Because as soon as, you know, a herd of goats gets larger, I mean, it also makes the effort of hunters looks pretty worthless. Taking out females, multi-generations from a population, serves me fantastically well. It means that we as hunters are keeping these numbers under control, but more to the point, far more tender, delicious meat. And um, I love goat. I don't, I don't understand like, you know, why it's not on the forefront of the, of the supermarket shelves, because it's not a weird meat. It's not a strange, it's, it's such a delectable, mild, delicious flesh, particularly when it is from younger animals. Yeah, I've got to work a little bit harder, at not just, I, I love making a curry out of them. And it's a pretty classic dish worldwide. Um, yeah, I'd like to be a little bit more creative about my use with them. That sun's just peeking over the edge and it is going to be a warm day. I'm going to put all my efforts right now into butchering them up. Um, you know, Esky back at the car's full of ice. If I can have all that done by like 7 30, 8 o'clock, well then I can actually explore this area a bit more. The pressure's off a bit, you know. I've got the feed. I would like to find some deer. Um, whether or not I shoot one's not besides the point, but Tristan, when he was here with me the last few days, he saw some. And I'd like to just trace their movements up a bit. There's also a creek down the bottom, and I put a, a rod on the side here just to see, you know. Because I've heard there might be some redfin and some trout in that creek. You don't know until you cast a line in and check it out. The joy of exploration. Anyway, no more mucking around. If you're interested to know how um, four-legged animals like this get sliced up, I'm just going to put a link below to a few videos I did at the end of last year about field dressing, skinning, and butchering up of animals. I'm not going to show it here. It's a bit of uh, YouTube politics and that, but that doesn't matter. Feel free to go back to those other links. They're pretty in-depth. Oh, see what it is getting hot. The little creek down there is starting to look very, very inviting. Uh, 
low battery, which is okay, it just is what it is. Here you in here, so everyone can see ya. Fantastic! Not a good NFT. Oh, oh, it's a rainbow, it's a fucking one three. Fantastic. That's wombat just there. So yeah. Right <laughs> Random. It's all happening. Oh, back in the water. Back in the water. Such an exciting take. Wonderful rainbow. And it's off. <laughs> Great. Best of the day, probably. Really nice brown. Look at that brown. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Who says browns don't jump? Thrash oh. about. Thrash about. Oh. They just love the grub. They all love that grub. Oh man. How good is that amazing brown trout? Oh, I reckon that's about a two and a half to three pound fish. Don't worry, it's on grass. It's okay. I am so happy with that fish. That is mad. Here we go. That was awesome. That's sick. It's a lot of blackberry. I don't mean to glorify a weed. A nice little rest before I do a big climb up and out of this system. I might see something on the way. I might not, and that's okay because I've had a very, very successful day of hunting and fishing. It's great. Solid pool, the best chance we'll have today. Trizzo's on the soft plastic, and I don't know, it's not dry fly weather, but my man as well have a crack. A lot of the water has been flat and gravelly until now, 
obviously this we just look at the top surface like a plate and i'm going to just drop the dry fly at maybe four or five different locations to feel like a meter either side of it has been covered across the water I have not seen or caught a fish all day. No. Tell me how it's done there. Oh, he's fucking huge. He's onto a good rainbow. Sitting down for snacks. Oh, where is he? Oh man, just let it tire itself out. <laughs> now, what should I do? You? you just gotta chill, man. You gotta just chill. Let it do that a bit. I hope it doesn't get off, but you gotta just chill. You see there's an eddy behind you? See that line behind you? Look behind you. Oh, what about there? That's about no, no, behind you. Look behind you into that shallow. Oh, brother, if you can just make this happen. So steer it right into your feet. Steer it right into your feet if you can. Keep it in, keep it in. Oh. All the way to you. All the way into the, all into the bank. Holy fuck! Yes! <laughs> did it, did it. Get it in onto land, onto land, land. Move it in. <laughs> onto land, onto land. Him, Chuck him onto land. <laughs> Got it. Bro, yes! Oh. You were just sitting on your ass. <laughs> Took it hard. I knew there'd be a good one in here. <laughs> oh yes. dear. Folks, this, this rainbow trout is not going to live. Christian has a new Weber. Woo! So you're sitting there. Yeah. And you're pulling I, uh, it in. I sat on my, I was sitting on my ass there, took one cast, and then you look across and said, do it properly. <laughs> and I said, fair enough. I think I put one cast there, just one retrieve. Into the bubbles. Yeah, two or three. And then on the third one, I was looking down, just as it got to about there and thought, oh, look, I can see my lure. And this thing from the bottom just went Pfft. It couldn't be more ideal, man. Like, this is something out of a Japanese garden. Oh, yeah. It's like now. Well, but it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. It's like the first fish that we've had in years. And catch a fish, mm. and it's on a rooster tail that we kind of started on. Like we loved absolutely. Yeah. This makes this reminds me of bloody G High Flats. Yeah. Back in 2011. Oh my goodness. That's goodness. right. Like we've been fishing for hours. I never caught a fish, and I caught a first time on a rainbow in a rooster tail in like a pool pretty similar, like to this in terms of like big frothy like corner. Absolutely. Lasting for long then, not very long now. Mm. <laughs> What more is there to say than how perfect's that? Gorgeous blue is rainbow. How are you gonna cook it, man? Uh, slowly on the Weber. Mm -hmm. I think a couple of uh, wood chips. Yeah, so it's nice and juicy. Gorgeous mountains rainbow. Fantastic.